Hey everybody, you're watching English with Chris Americos. That's right, this is where I'm going to be talking about English. Your free online English lessons. Today we're going to be talking about questions. Yeah, questions. I'm sure you've got a lot of them. And people ask you a lot of them. What can I tell you about questions as an English teacher? I can tell you a lot of things. First of all, I'm going to tell you that there are four main ways to structure questions. That's right. Four. Four. One, two, three, four. Four. Four types of questions. That's right. Four question structures. And in this video, this video, in this video, we're talking about question structure. Question, question, structure. Question, question, structure. Maybe you have a friend who's a police officer. He probably asks a lot of questions. First two types of question structure are connected to the verb to be. To be. Or not to be. You probably didn't know that Shakespeare was an English teacher. The first question structure that you need to know is question structure with the verb to be. When you have a question with the verb to be, you need to place the verb before the subject. That's right, verb before subject. Like, are you hungry? Subject before verb will be a sentence, not a question. You are hungry. Verb before subject, question. If we want, we can also add a question word or question phrase at the beginning. So, why are you hungry? The second type of question structure is verbs that are not the verb to be. So, the second question structure, all verbs that are not to be. To have, to do, to think, to poop. <laughs> I said poop. All verbs except the verb to be fall into the second question structure, which is quasi. What? That's right. Quasi. Quasi is an easy way to remember the second type of question structure. Q U stands for question word or question phrase. A stands for auxiliary verb or helping verb. S stands for subject and I stands for infinitive or you can think of it as the main verb. So again we have question, helping verb, subject, main verb. Welcome to question structure number two. For example, a sentence. You like ice cream. I want to make this sentence a question. I add helping verb. Do you like ice cream? Or question and helping verb. Why do you like ice cream? What kind of ice cream do you like? So it's pretty simple. The third question structure is a little bit more difficult. In English, any time that we have a preposition, we put the preposition at the end of the question. Yeah, in classical English, they tell you that this is a mistake. But in modern English, in spoken English, this is what we always say. So if you're trying to speak like the queen, turn this video off. If you're trying to speak like a usual person, keep watching. That's right, put the preposition at the end of the question. For example, I write with a pen, not a question. I want to ask a question about the thing I use to write. So I ask, what do you write with? I don't ask, with what do you write? No, that's strange. Don't say that. Say, what do you write with? That's what usual people say. Again, don't say, about what are you thinking? Say, what are you thinking about? The fourth question structure is the most difficult. In this question structure, we have a verb that's not the verb to be, but we don't use a helping verb. What? No! Yes. Why? Because if the subject of the sentence is a question word, we don't use a helping verb. Oh. My. God. Don't worry. It's okay. Let me give you an example. Here's a sentence. The Beatles played music. Question. Who played music? In this question, the word who is the subject. And when a question word is the subject, we don't use a helping verb. So again, you don't say who did play music. No, 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 that's wrong. That's completely wrong. Don't do that. You say who played music. Who is the subject? No helping verb. So you can practice asking questions right now by leaving a question in the comment to this video. I'll try to answer your question and correct any grammar mistakes that you might make. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. If you're trying to learn English, I'm trying to help. My name is Chris Americos, your online English teacher. I'll see you next time. Fly. 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 Fly.
They ask me how I've been, and I say that I'm fine. I only play to win, I'm always on the grind, I'm fly.